Uh, the seminar experience doesn't happen in a vacuum. The learning goes beyond just giving lectures and reading books. I think we do really well here integrating the various different ways in which we do learn. During the day, during the week, you can study. Uh, and on the weekends or in the evenings, it's a hop, skip, and a jump to some of the best powder in the country, uh, to some of the greatest climbing in the country, uh, to trail running because we have the, the trail right against our campus. We have trout fishing right up against our campus here in the river. When you're biking or hiking, there are just things you talk about that you wouldn't. That doesn't happen in the classroom. Yeah. We have all these outdoor seating places where students just get together in the middle of winter uh, outside. And so it's, I, I really enjoy that diversity where That's one day you're out there making like snowmen and the next day you're sitting there in your shorts hanging out outdoors. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. The Denver metro area actually, it's historically been a really difficult place for the gospel. So Colorado Springs is sort of like conservative and then Boulder is kind of very liberal and so Denver is a mix of all of those things. And so to learn how to do evangelism, to learn how to do ministry in the city, uh, I think it really sets people up well for other contexts they may ultimately be called to. Denver happens to be um, a, a pretty important stop when it comes to human trafficking. trafficking. I mean, if people want to get their hands dirty and really do ministry, let's get our feet wet, let's get our mind wet, let, I mean, let's just throw ourselves in. I don't think people consider cultural diversity when they think about Denver, but Denver actually resettles more refugees per capita than California does. Really? Yeah, and so when I drive from here and just to my neighborhood, it's almost like I'm entering a different world. I'm not here to just share what I've read in books, I'm here to share my entire life of ministry. So it's uh, in our backyard, mm -hmm. we have the opportunity to do real ministry and uh, to affect lives. It's an amazing place.